Just uh, briefly about the teachings of the Bible or the Quran or any of those uh, um, teachings that are out there that I think sometimes they are taken so literal that it is scary. Well, not only are they taken literally, they are taken out of context and they have been rewritten and re-examined and re-offered by so many people with so many different motives that you don't even have a scanty view of what they originally said. They are a waste of time. They are an attempt at guiding yourself from the outside when you have active guidance within. It's really an interesting thing that people are looking for God through something that is static and distorted when they have immediate and personal access to God right here and now. I wanted to be prepared because my sister-in-law is coming to stay with me next week and I will be hearing a lot of it, which is fine for her, but it's not okay for me. Well, give yourself a break and don't resist her because the more you resist her, the harder she'll try to win you over. Mm -hmm. So just smile and agree with everything she says. Yeah, and I do. It will go easier for you because she's trying to save your soul. Yeah. And it seems very important to her to do that, you see. And if you say, my soul doesn't need saving, she'll worry all the more. But if you just appreciate her for her effort and acknowledge that she is a wonderful being with very positive intention and don't get into an arm wrestling match. Jerry and Esther had a funny experience. Jerry and Esther have a dear friend who speaks Spanish more than English, little English, mostly Spanish. And Jerry speaks Spanish, but not as fluently as his friend. And so Jerry wrote an English letter to his friend wanting to appreciate him in a powerful way. And he took his English written letter to another friend who is a university student from Mexico and asked him to translate the letter into Spanish. Spanish, which he did and Jerry delivered his Spanish translation to his friend who appreciated it but did not seem to really understand the true essence of what Jerry had intended and then later Jerry carried the letter with him and they were at another restaurant in San Diego and they met a young woman who said that she was going to school studying to be an English Spanish translator and Jerry said I would like to pay you to translate a Spanish letter into English for me so he took the Spanish translation to this woman and asked her to translate it back into English. And when they read the letter, it was very far from what Jerry had written. Very, very far. So far that they now understand why their friend looks at them the way he does. And then they said, can you imagine these were two well-intentioned people with no ulterior motive doing this translation, doing their best to convey a message that they themselves did not really understand. In other words, it was sort of Abraham's message. It was about creating your own reality. It was about vibration. It was about life meaning to be well for you. But these people who don't know that yet, it's not active in their vibration, could not even read the well-written words. And when they reached for the translation of these very well-written words, they came up with a meaning that was entirely different. And then the second one distorted it even further until, can you imagine what you're getting back after generations of translation from one language to another language, through one ruler, through one empire, through one economic system? Can you imagine? the scanty information that you're getting yeah. and people are trying to live their life by it. The contradictions in those documents are mind boggling. Yeah. Take any one of them. They're full of contradictions. They don't even agree with themselves. And the reason they don't agree with themselves is because the clear minded one who originally received them didn't do the translation. And the motive of the one who has employed the translation is factored in too, you see. When you line up your vibration, then you attract to you the circumstances that defy the intentions of all others. In other words, when you get in sync with what you want, the universe finds a way of delivering to you what you want, no matter what anybody else that's playing with you might intend. And so that's why we don't 
expect you to ever be able to sort out what somebody else lived in another time when Esther can't even sort out what just happened right in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> this just happened and I can't sort it out. No wonder it's full of contradiction and none of it has anything to do with you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes, indeed.